Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Playbook Football 8 box, half case, pick your team number 8. It's a bounty under break, boys and girls. So let's pay attention to the numbers. We want to pay attention to these numbers right here. Good luck. Big thanks to this group. We sold this one out straight up. We're also going to check after this break uh, if there are if there's more playbook for us to post on uh, on YouTube. I don't know if it's reserved for Instagram or not, but but we'll see. this blank card to help slow play the hits a little bit. And that is down and dirty Antonio Gibson. That is 39 out of 75 for Joseph K and the Commanders. We got hot routes 15 out of 199. Uh, that is Stefan Diggs. Nice. You're welcome, Jason. Appreciate you getting in. And we got Jamal Lewis, 24 out of 75. Goal line graphs. All right, looks like the Lakers defeated by the Grizzlies, 103-93. Series tied 1-1. Back to LA. We got Chris Olave. Nice. Jersey and autograph. 141 out of 249. That's going to be for the Saints. That'll be for Jeff. Last spot mojo, Jeff. Strikes again. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. I mean, we saw we saw another example here. Seventy percent of the time, hits hundred percent of the time. I don't know if that's actually true, but that's what we like to say. Nice patch, mammoth material. It's Kyle Hamilton, sixty-seven out of ninety-nine. Would Kyle Hamilton? Go to the Kyle event in Kyle, Texas, that we were talking about earlier. Got DK Metcalf, 108 out of 199. It's for Andrew and the Seahawks. Kyle Hamilton would be VIP at the Kyle event. There is DeMarvin Leal, rookie auto, one of one. Woo! For Scott E. and the Steelers. There you go, Scotty. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! And then we've got Michael Irvin, Jersey and Auto. 39 out of 49. That is for Ed P in Dallas. James Worthy, not happy. Big game James, not happy with the Lakers' performance. It's a lackadaisical, lack of energy. He doesn't, doesn't like it. Could be that delicious, delicious barbecue. Slowed him down, maybe. clap tonight. Here is Antonio Gibson, another down and dirty. 
58 out of 149. Now, Oliver's a Sacramento Kings fan. Uh, where did the uh, where did the whole beam thing come from? Did they just like buy a laser and they're like, yeah, we should uh, do that? Or did, did did it come from something? There's Mammoth Materials, 37 out of 49. Or were they just like, this would be cool to do after wins? Christopher with the Lions. Not sure of the origins of all of them. Maybe we'll look that up a little later. Goal line graph, Ron Dane, 180 out of 199. That'll be for the Giants, David Duffy. And the book is Desmond Ritter. Nice. Jersey and autograph. That's Christopher with the Falcons. 008 out of 199. Yeah, it's a great PR move. Great PR move. But yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like purely PR and just a nice move or if it organically came from like a fan or something and then, then they acted upon that really so for people who are concerned about the carbon footprint of that uh, of that laser it only takes the power of a regular dishwasher to light There's Mammoth Material, Tyron Davis Price, 3 out of 99. That'll be for the Niners, Eric Clicks. Oh, was Colin Cowherd concerned? Here comes McBride, Trey McBride, 006 out of 199. Colin, Colin Cowherd was concerned. What did he think it was like a like a Death Star laser from Star Wars that requires all these kyber crystals to power? I mean, Colin Cowherd is not aware of get this card right there of like LED lighting, energy efficient lighting, fifty six out of ninety nine. The efficiency of, of of lasers. Antonio Gibson autograph Joseph K. And then we've got Tony Romo. Nice patch, nice autograph, nice one for Ed P. And the Dallas Cowboys. Nine out of ten. Nice low number, too. Let's give Tony Romo the one with the little sponge piece inside. That jersey number as well. Now I wonder that laser that shoots out into space, right, Oliver? Can that can that beam be seen from like an international space station, or does the light dissipate by the time it gets there? There's 88 out of 199, Mammoth Material, Easy E for the Dolphins. That'll be for uh, that'll be for Joseph K. We got seven out of 49, Ryan Tannehill, Shotgun Signatures. Goes to David in the Titans. We have an extra auto in here. We got hash marks, three out of ninety-nine. That is Tony, uh, Tony Hill for the Cowboys. Yeah, nice break for the Cowboys. I don't know who Ming the Merciless is, Mike Tower. But here's a Carson Strong, twenty-nine out of forty-nine. But I wonder 
if that if that light does pierce the night sky and get sent into outer space, could it signal alien creatures, evil alien creatures, and signal them to Earth? Of course, Eric clicks in the eagles. Oh, it's a villain from Flash Gordon. Yeah, well, there you go. Will it attract a villain, Oliver? It, will the kings, will the Sacramento kings be the, the demise of human civilization as we know it because it attracts aliens? You know the light can be seen throughout Northern California, but not sure if it's as powerful as the Luxor beam. You know, interesting. Is Colin Coward concerned with the carbon footprint of the, the Luxor beam? He doesn't seem too concerned about that. 13 out of 25, Sunday's best, Mark Andrews. Nice patch, and, uh, no, just a patch, but nice patch. A little bit of purple peeking right there in that corner. That'll be for Jeff Henn and the Ravens, another last spot mojo pickup. We got 74 out of 99. That's Kayvon Thibodeau. That'll be for the Giants. That'll be for David Duffy. Got hash mark, 72 out of 99. That's another cowboy for Ed. Rocket Ismail. Maybe, says Oliver. I mean, people thought the Kings wouldn't make the playoffs unless the world was ending, so it would be just our luck. The Sacramento Kings lighting the beam, attracting evil aliens, destroying our world just as they win the NBA Finals. We got Hassan Haskins. 49 out of 49. That's for David and the Titans. Do you think they could see all of our Kyles from outer space? Perhaps if they made a giant K. I mean, how many Kyles are, go are, are expected to go there, Gilo? And how long would the K have to be in order to... Uh, in order to be seen from space. Like a mile long or something like that. Speaking of the kings, it's, it's two different kings here. Let's get some LA Kings action going. We're gonna go local broadcast. We've got Mammoth Materials, 148 out of 199, Isaiah Spiller. Eric with the Chargers. To beat the record, they have to get over 2,300 Kyles. Got it. Here's Brian Robinson Jr., 51 out of 75. Goal line graphs for Joseph. I think Kylie Minogue should count too. She should be involved. Kylie should go. She'll be able to go. Kylie Minogue, Kylie Jenner. Sam Howell not allowed. But there's his rookie card going to Joseph K. And the Commanders. And the book is Brees Hall. Rookie Jumbo. Dual Relic, Brees Hall. 26 out of 99. Just a couple off the... Damn. Just a couple off the uh, bounty. It's going to be for Scott and the Jets. The specific rule is the name has to be spelled Kyle, K-Y-L-E. So if it's Kyle spelled C-Y-L-E, or maybe it's Kyle K-Y-L-Y-E, I mean, all those Kyles are out of luck, huh? There's rules, Oliver. There's rules. There's Matt Corral, Carolina Panthers, 27 out of 199. Now, does the city of Kyle, Texas, count as one? 
Or is it not? Does it have to be humans named Kyle? Joseph K. with Carolina. We got shotgun signatures. Jeff George, 33 out of 99. That's going to go to Christopher and the Falcons. And we've got hash marks. That's uh, Terrell Edmonds, 21 out of 75. <laughs> we know what he's doing there. We know what he's doing there. That's Scott with the Steelers. It's a family show, but we know what he's doing there. And back here, another Steeler for Scott. It's a game of inches, ladies and gentlemen. Surely is. Najee Harris. Ooh, great photography right there. That's awesome. 13 out of 49 on that. No bounties, but... A nice break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.